gave us the past all understanding. I would just thank the board for our homes and our families and countless blessings for us. I'm so upon us and worthy as we are. We're so thankful, Lord, you put down upon us. And you know the needs, and there are so many needs today, and you told us that we cast our care upon you. Would you care for us by you and your mercy and your grace, Lord, to go through this world and face these trials and temptations and tell us your precious word. We can be a good cheer because you've overcome those things. Of self, we know we can do nothing. Help us to trust in you. Because we're here today, Lord, help us to worship you in spirit and in truth. Help us to lay aside the cares of this life, keep ourselves out of the way, and take control of this service, Lord, and conduct it according to your will that everything's said and done. Be pleased to tell you, pray for Brother Brad as he breaks the bread of life and preaches your precious word. We're thankful, Lord, that that word is in place and it changes not. Remember those today, Lord's grief, those awful tragedies of the shooting, families, Lord, are devastated today. Yes. Uh, we pray, God, to reach down. You're the God of all comfort, and there's many things, Lord, we don't understand, but we know you're in control. Pray that you watch over them, Lord, and put a hedge about them, keep them lifted up. Pray for this nation, Lord, and our leaders and our country. And pray for those that's out there, Lord, the military people, Lord, that's keeping our borders safe, and law enforcement people. Help us as God's people to take that stand for you today. Yes. Pray for in this service, Lord, that you come to visit with us here today. We pray and ask these things in your thanks in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
Now praise God, I'm glad for that. Yeah. You know why I say that? The Bible tells us that he was a ruler in the synagogue. Now this Jairus, he wasn't like all of them. I believe he knew. He knew the Word of God, and he believed the Word of God. And if you know the Word of God, you know what you know? Jesus. Yeah. The Bible says, in the beginning is the Word, and the Word is with God. And uh, praise God, we know that to be Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, he knew this one. And we find here he had some enlightenment in his life. Amen. And uh, praise God, the Word of God. Without the Word of God, uh, you'll be steered the wrong direction. And praise God, he had the word of God. The Bible says, it, here's what it says. It says the, in Psalms 119, 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Yeah. Now, I don't have a flashlight here, but I'll pretend that's a flashlight. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ever gone somewhere in the dark and praise God, you had that light? <laughs> Amen. You know what? The Lord said, his word is a light. It'll steer you in the right way. It'll get you on the right path. And I'm glad to tell you what Jerry knew about this light. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You and I, we need to let the Word direct us. Yeah. We need to let it guide us. Right. It's not how you feel this morning. Now, praise God, if you feel and it goes in line with the Word of God, hallelujah, yeah. praise God. That's how I feel. I'm going with Jesus, amen. I'm going with His way. And we find this morning that Jairus, he walked uh, with the Word of God, and amen, you've got to have that. Yeah. Praise God. I'm glad someone shared with me the Word of God. Yeah. And we need it every day. We need that Word of God. But you know, Jairus is an interesting name. I looked it up. You know what it says? It means whom God enlightened. Boy, I, I believe, you know, in a lot of stories in the Bible, we don't get a name. It just says there was a man, there was a woman, but here we got a name. And I believe it's important. His name means who God enlightened. Boy, I tell you what, you want to be enlightened today? I don't look on the internet. They got a mess on how to get enlightened. I, I, didn't, I thought this morning, I just thought, I'm just going to plug that in there and find out how to get enlightened. And you know what? The, the psychologists got all their ways. Now, I'm not saying that's necessarily bad. There might be some good little pointers. The Buddhists got their ways of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And I found there's one. I found one six step, one's eight step, one's 13 step. Some had pictures. I ought to be enlightened, amen. I took the six step one. I want to get it quick, don't you? <laughs> amen. And uh, I thought one of the, one of the was, uh, did you know our body is made up of 70% water? Okay, that's what it tells me. That's what they just told me there when I was reading about this enlightenment. And then you know what? Since your body is made up of 70% water, you know it would be good to be, how one, one of the steps to be enlightened is to, is to meditate upon water. That's right. And the properties of water. And once you do that and you can learn all about water, then you can understand yourself. Well, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't study water, but you know, I did know, I do know something about water. It evaporates. Yeah. The Bible says our life is like the vapor. Here it's gone. As soon as it's here, then it's gone. And that's the truth, amen. And I believe you, we need to have a little meditation on that. But I tell you, you know what? what you know what kind of meditation, you know what kind of enlightenment you and I need? One that comes from God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And that's what Jairus had, ain't it? He had enlightenment that came through the Word of God from God. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm glad I have that. Yeah. We, um, you know, I'm glad I was enlightened at some point in my life that somebody said, Jesus loves me. Amen. I think I said recently, boy, I, I'm so glad, I'm glad, you know what, that's a kid's song, Jesus loves me, we say it's a kid's song, Jesus loves me, this I know, but you know, and that we do, uh, we do that, we, we, we let our kids, we want our kids to learn that, don't we? <laughs> we want to enlighten them, that it, we maybe, you don't understand, but there is a God that loves you. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? You might have a parent that, that, that's gone. You may have something. You may feel all alone. But praise God, when you're all alone, there's one that loves you. And I'm glad I saw the light. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad the light was shown to me. And praise God, I have a God that loves me. Amen. Yeah, 
And by the way, we're not very lovable. Yeah. Come on. And yet he still loves me. Right. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. I praise God for that enlightenment. I believe Jerry's had that enlightenment. But you know what? It doesn't stop there. A lot of people, that's as far as their enlightenment goes. But you know what? I'm glad I found out there was something that caused separation between me and my Savior. Hmm. And it's sin. Sin's bad, folks. Yeah. I'm glad someone told me about the, the wickedness and the awfulness of sin. And you know what it does? It separates us from God. And you know what will keep you out of heaven? Sin will. All right. We find here, I'm glad I got enlightened on that. And you know what I soon found out? I was in trouble. Right. Well, I like I liked that enlightenment to get to the world. I like it to get our community. I like it to get to our, our kids and their families and their parents. I want them to realize that sin, you've got sin, you're in trouble. Yeah. And I'm talking about bad trouble. I'm talking about a place called hell. Amen. There was a day in my life I realized and I knew, boy, I, hallelujah, I knew, praise God, I, I came to that realization I was headed for hell. Amen. Yeah. Aren't you glad you learned that? Amen. But your world has never realized that. They think they're all right. Jesus loves me. I'm going to be all right. But praise God for the enlightenment of the Word of God. And it'll tell you, amen. It said, nay, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. But you know what? I'm glad also it didn't stop there. I knew I was in trouble. But then I heard an odd story. And I tell you, really, it's an odd story. I tell you, Calvary is an odd story. There's a story of a out in glory and towards the glory to look down and it's a one that, that was foreordained from the beginning, amen. Knew we were going to be in trouble. Knew that sin was going to send us to a devil's hell. But praise God, we had a Savior that says while we were yet sinners, He came for you and I. I heard about Jesus, amen. And I heard that He came for me because He loves me. Because amen. He loves you. Yeah. And He went. And He went to the cross for me. Amen. amen. He went to the cross for you. Yeah, thank you, Lord. I'm glad I was enlightened about that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad I heard that you just call upon the name of the Lord. And I'm glad for the day in my life that I said, Lord, I surrender. I can't do it. But you can. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Amen, anybody? Have you saw the light? Have you saw that light this morning? Amen. Praise the Lord. And then you know what? I'm glad I can tell you right now. I've been enlightened. I'm saved. Amen. Yeah. Anybody here saved? Amen. Let's get excited about it. Amen. It's not because you were good enough. It's right. because of what Jesus did. And he died on the cross. Yes, and he shed right. that blood. Thank and he went Lord. through all that punishment. And he did that for me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Boy, I tell you, Jerry, he knew it, amen. He had the enlightenment that came from God. Yeah. Boy, I'm glad I do. Amen. I tell you, if we could just realize, you know what? It doesn't stop there. I mean, if it stopped there, it'd be wonderful. I'm saved. Woo! Glory. But you know what? Jairus had a better enlightenment. He knew. He knew that as we go through this life, you're going to face some things. And you know what? He had some enlightenment that Jesus is here for us. Mm -hmm. Boy, I need Jesus. I tell you, I need him every day. Yep. Amen. And I tell you, how much better to go through life having the enlightenment <clears throat> that when you're going through that valley, he's there. Amen. You're going to go through some valleys. Boy, I wish I could make up a story and it would be a fairy tale. And I'd say once you get saved, life is going to be easy. No, I'm just going to, I'm going to warn you. The devil didn't like it. That's right. And he's going to try everything he can to get you discouraged and down and get you out and just get you in a mess, amen. But praise God, I'm glad to tell you what, in the darkest hour, in the deepest valley, he's here for me. Amen. You know what, Jairus knew that. He had that enlightenment, amen, praise God. So, praise God, he walked with the, the word of God. And praise God, he was enlightened by God, amen. Do you know what else he got, amen? He, he did get, when he got worked up, 
Now, I'd like to say don't get worked up, but you know what? That, would, that ain't going to happen. You're going to get worked up. You're going to get in a tizzy. You're going to get in, as the Bible says, in a do. But you know what Jerry did when he, he got worked up? He went to Jesus. Mm. Well, why can't we learn that? Right. <clears throat> What's wrong with us? Amen. He, here's what he did. Amen. He came to Jesus. Look over there. I like it what it says in Matthew uh, chapter 10, verse 18. It's the same story. But I like some of the details here, what it says. I'm sorry, chapter 9, verse 18. Let me read that. It says, While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler, this is Jairus. And he worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. Now I'll tell you what, if anyone had reason to get worked up, I think Jairus did, don't you? I can think of all the trials that you go through in this life here, and I'd have to be one of the top trials that you valleys that you go through to have a precious baby, a precious daughter, a 12 years old, that dies. Awful thing. And so to say, well, I'm going to get worked up, your flesh is going to get worked up. But you know what? It don't take much for you and I to get worked up. It don't have to be a death. It don't have to be much, but you know what we do? We get in and do. We get all worked up. But you know what? Praise God. We got the same solution. The Jairus knew what it was. He came to Jesus. Yeah. He's our help in time of trouble. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. We find uh, not only did he come to Jesus, but you know what he did? He believed in him. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, if you if you, if if you get walking in the Word of God and you can believe this Word of God, Amen. When the trials and the troubles come, you can run to the Savior, Amen, believing that He can. Yeah. You notice what it says, and in Matthew it said, "His daughter's dead." Now most of would say, "Well, I guess that just was God's <laughs> will," and uh, let's call the. Yeah, I wish Gary was here, Amen. We'll call him, Amen. He. He'll come get you. And uh, um, let's just make the arrangements. Let's get through this. But you know, I like this Jarius. Hmm. He believed God could. Yeah, amen. He believed God could take that child that was dead, and he said, Lord, if you could come and just touch her. Now this morning you may not have somebody that's passed or anything like that, but you know you got something you need to touch. I need a touch that comes from above. I tell you, I don't know what you're going through right now, but I'm trying to tell you that Jairus was enlightened. He knew he had a God that had a saving power, but he also had the power to do whatever to get him through whatever challenge he had in this life. And he said, Jesus, would you just come? Would you come and just touch my daughter? I believe if you just touch her, she would live. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, Jairus could say that. I think we could say that about all our little things. Don't you? Sure. Let's just give it to Jesus. Let's just give it to Jesus. He believed it. Amen. We find that uh, Jairus, he, when he got worked up, he went to Jesus. But I, his, I don't want you to miss this. You know what he did? As soon as he came to Jesus, you know what he did? The Bible says he worshipped him. He worshipped Jesus. We like, to, we like to kind of bypass that, by the way. It's kind of interesting. It's a key. I believe it's a key. He deserves some worship this morning, don't he? Amen. I mean, it's pitiful. It's pitiful. He deserves more than we're giving him. That's right. He deserves some more thankfulness. Mm. He deserves more praise. Only reason you're able to be here this morning is because of Him. Yes, thank you, Lord. You know, before we find Jairus asked, you know what he did? He dropped him to his knees mm. and he worshipped Him. Yep. You know what I did? He lifted him up. He deserves lifted up, doesn't he? Man. You think, as we just preached here last week on Job, 
very first thing he did, you know what he did when he lost all? He worshipped. Hmm. Boy, there must be something to that worship that's yeah. going to help. Man. David, you'll find, you know how many times what he did? He worshipped. <laughs> hmm. Paul and Silas, they were beaten, put in prison. I mean, it's unjust. Midnight hour, you know what they did? They worshipped. That's right. This is all before their prayers are answered, by the way. They worshipped. You know, he deserves worship when things are going good and when things are going bad. I don't know why it is when things are going good, we're apt to say, you know, the fact is sometimes things are going good, we don't think we need him. We need him then too. If we just enter into his courts. I know I, I like the Bible since if you seek him first, then you know what? You know, you seek him first, you worship him, all these other things will be added unto you. There he is. I believe that. Yeah. You say, I've got a need here. Well, let's worship him, amen. Let's put him first, amen. Let's make him Lord in our lives. Let's put him on the throne, amen. Let's let him be the decision maker, amen. Yeah. You know what? All these other things, <laughs> he's here for us. Yeah. Ain't he wonderful? Right. Well, praise God, I like that Jerry. He's enlightened and he's worshiping the Lord. He's doing the right thing in the midst of all. You know, praise God, he, he asked. we got to ask. But you know what else he did? And it's kind of an odd story. We didn't read the whole story. We started there in, in verse 21. We stopped in verse 20, 26. And we skipped a little portion, didn't we? And we went to verse 35. Most stories aren't that way. You'll read the parable. You'll read the story Jesus has. It's all one thing. That, but you know what? You know what this Jairus had to do? He had to wait on Jesus. Hmm. In the midst of all this, now Jesus said, yeah, we're on our way. Now, if anything would be urgent, I would think, you know what? Uh, uh, you need to get here quick, Jesus. It made me think here the other night when we were waiting for the ambulance. Remember that? Remember that, O.J.? Oh, yes. And, uh, I mean, we were looking out the door, and I thought, did anybody call? And I'm sure O.J. was thinking that. Amen. And uh, I know I was back there with Kenny, and they came in. That, that, the, the, uh, they finally didn't get here. They found deputy, praise God. <laughs> We've been waiting. And I can tell, I can tell we're not very good waiters. Man. And we we had the doors already. I mean, we're ready. The ambulance pulls up over there. They get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big night tonight. Yeah, see, I really I don't know if that's what they were saying or not, but they were looking up at the stars and they were getting their stuff ready. Yeah. And I know we were back, me and Kenny were back then. Now Kenny, I thought I about had control of my thing. I, I know yeah. we we're about ready to say, run! Hurry up! Yeah, amen. Come on, what's taking you so long? And I think about this father, his precious baby. Hmm. And you know what? The Lord kind of had a little side thing there, didn't he? Another woman came with a need and reached out. And she knew about the touch. The crowd was throng in him. I mean, that crowd, if I said, if I was there, I'd have had me or something. I said, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. We got somewhere to go. Yeah. And Jesus stops. <laughs> and praise God, he said, I felt something. Yeah, amen. Someone believed, by the way. <laughs> amen. They touched my hem and my garment down there. They got down on their knees or reached there. And praise God, there was one on the way that was made whole. But as I thought, this, this Jerry, is, it's not easy. I mean, uh, when you're waiting on something important, a minute seems like an hour. Sometimes that's how we are. But you know what, praise God, part of sometimes when we get in a tizzy, we get in a, we get all worked up, you just need to wait on God. Yeah, amen. Don't get ahead of Him. I don't bypass and say, i got to go another way. He's the answer. Yeah. yeah, amen. 
And it may seem like an eternity, but praise God when He shows up. <laughs> by the way, you know what else uh, Jerry's had to put up with? Doubters. Mm -hmm. Boy, I tell you what now, and I like this, here's what he, he waited on Jesus, but you know what? When doubters spoke, he still relied on Jesus' word. Look there in verse 35. It says, While he had spake, there came the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Says, uh, Why trouble thou the master any further? Boy, part of us would say, Yeah, Jesus, I know we made an effort. It's too late. The devil likes that. Yeah. He likes to put doubt. He started putting doubt in the garden, didn't he? Right. And you know what he doubted? God's word. Right. Amen. If God says it, you can claim it, you can run with it. Yep. He knew Jesus was coming, amen. And he wasn't coming in vain. He was coming to make, he was coming to take care of his daughter. Amen. Yeah. You find uh, there's many that are around that are just not enlightened. Jerry's was enlightened. Mm -hmm. I think I like I like one of my favorite things to preach on is blind Bartimaeus. Mm -hmm. Boy, I tell you what, he's he's desperate and he knew Jesus was coming by. I mean, a blind man knew better. Yeah. He could tell Jesus was coming by, and he starts calling out. Mm -hmm. And some of those oh, those unenlightened friends. They said, well, just, just be quiet. Be quiet. It ain't going to do no good. Jesus don't have time for you. I like blind bar. He was enlightened. He couldn't see, but he could see. It said he cried out the louder, all the more, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And praise God, next thing you know, there's one standing by him and said, what can I do for you? Praise the Lord. Amen. When doubters speak, you know what? I'm just going to stick with the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. That's how Jairus was. Amen. I like this, this father here. Amen. Praise the Lord. He knew the Word of God. The Bible says, Call upon me and I will answer thee. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now you might have to wait. Hmm. But he's going to answer. Praise the Lord. Well, we find in verse 41, you know what Jairus did? I like this. He witnessed the wonders of it says there, and he took the damsel by the hand, said unto her, Talitha whom I which being interpreted damsel, I send to thee arise. I'd like to see that, wouldn't you? I mean, her color's gone. I mean, she's, she's lifeless. But praise God, when Jesus speaks, he says, arise! Straightway. He didn't say after a little while, let's shake her. Oh yeah, I think there's some life in her. Straightway, the damsel rose and walked. Amen. You know what? I'm, I'm glad to tell you what. I have a God that does wonders. Amen. The Bible said they were all with great astonishment. I have a God that can do uh, more than we ask. He can do the wonderful. He can do the things that we, the world says is impossible. That's right. He can calm the storm. Yes, amen. He healed the sick, he made mm -hmm. the blind to see, amen, mm -hmm. the deaf to hear. You praise God, you know what he can do? He can take the one that's lost and he can save them. Yeah. Woo, aren't you glad for that? Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. you find oftentimes many, they, they don't let God do what he wants to. And you know what, as a trial comes, they just sink deeper. I tell you, there's no good getting deeper. You can sink, or you can be lifted up. True. And praise God. I have a God that can lift you up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, I know we, we make a do oftentimes. But you know what? I'm glad to tell you what? Jesus is here. I had one last thing I wanted to share I thought was interesting. His is Jerry's, and I believe this is what he did. Praise God, we see all these things, did he? Well, he, he walked with God, amen, in his word. He worshiped God, amen. He, 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 when he got worked up, amen, he, he ran to Jesus, amen. He waited on the Lord. 
And you know, it's kind of interesting. Can you imagine? And here, it's always interesting. Here's what Jesus said in verse 43. He charged them straightly that no man should know it. And he commanded that something should be given to eat. And I like that, amen. He's hungry. <laughs> but you know what he said? Don't you tell anybody. And I don't, I don't quite understand all that, but you know what? First of all, you didn't have to tell nobody. Those that were out saying, she's dead, you just want to go home. There's no hope. They laughed at Jesus to scorn. That's right. They're laughing at them all. But they're out there, and all of a sudden, here comes this dancer, this 12-year-old girl. I think she was doing more of a skip than a walk, amen, hallelujah. And he said, is that her? That can't be her. Can you imagine? But you know I believe, Jerry, you know what he did? He had so much joy, he did witness. But you know, as I thought about this, then they came to Jarius and they said, Jarius, what happened? What kind of potion did he use? Did he have some sort of medicine that he gave her? What was it? What was the secret there? And you know what Jarius said? I don't have a clue. I can't tell you what happened. But I can tell you, she was dead. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Glory! Yeah. You know what? It wasn't no fancy potion, amen, praise God, that I had to take. And I wish there was. If there was a potion to get to get you saved, I'd be getting it. Yeah. It wasn't some pill, amen. It was the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was by His Word. Yeah. And praise God, there was a day in my life they said that right Bradley's name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And my name's been there ever since. Amen. 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 Hmm. Boy, we got, this was, a, this was an urgent need. And you know what he did? He had enough enlightenment to know that there is one that could take care of. I don't know what your need here is this morning, but I do know I've got enough enlightenment that there's one here that can take care of it. Amen. Say, I don't know about the future. He does. I don't know how we're going to get there. We might have to wait a little. But you wait on the Lord, and it won't be in vain. It'll be worth it all. Amen. Let's all stand this morning. Father, we thank you. Lord, you know our hearts this morning. You know what we're going through. This father here was going through something awful, but Lord, he had enough enlightenment in him that he knew where to go. He had confidence that he had a God that could take care of him. And this morning, I help us, Lord, help our unbelief. Help us to believe that you are able. You can give us that job. You can work in that marriage. You can work with that child. You can work in that, that seems impossible with men, but it's not impossible for you. And Lord, we pray we might give it to you this morning. Help us to run to you, Lord. Help us to worship you. Help us to lift you up on the throne and make you Lord of our life, Lord. Uh, that you would be in the place, Lord, that we could count on, Lord. We know you need to be the one making the decisions. Help us, Lord, this morning. Father, help us, Lord, that we might be able to get to the stage that Jairus did. And boy, what a witness he was. And he shared about what that Jesus did for his daughter what he did for him. Lord, help us, Lord, this morning. Knock on our heart's door. You know what we need to do. You know what we need to let loose. And we need to give it to you. Have your way in Jesus' precious name. Amen. With every head bowed and every eye closed this morning. You've got a need here this morning. Give it to Jesus. He can handle it. You say, I've got to worry. I'm worried about the future. I'm worried about this situation here. I have a God that lives. And He knows all about it. He can handle it. Don't fret about it. Don't get in, a, in an uproar. Give it to Jesus. You can come to Him with confidence. With assurance that, that He's able. And He cares. He loves you. He wants what's best for you. We've got to give it to Him. Give them all to Jesus. Oh, 
Well, let's lift him up this morning. Let's put him first. He'll do the rest. When the world says, oh, he can't, yes, he can. When you're even your flesh says, I don't know if there's any hope, yes, there is. We serve a risen Savior, one that lives. We need to act like it. He's not in the grave. He's on the right hand of God with all authority. He'll give you the light and enlightenment that you need.